everyone. Uh, we decided to take a little trip into another room of the house. Um, I am showing you today a very, very highly requested video, and it is how I break apart my Lush. So with the method I use, these are the things you're going to need. Um, if you are very clumsy or young uh, <laughs> and need supervision or need someone else to do this, please, please, please ask someone else to do this. Do not lose a hand from what I'm about to show you. Um, but I started realizing I really need to film this video because people were kept asking me, like, how do you break your Lush? They're like, you know, I'm, I'm throwing it on the floor and I'm taking a knife to it. And I almost cut off a finger and I'm throwing it against a wall. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You guys, do not throw your Lush against a wall. Like, don't sit there and chunk it across your house, you know, and break something. Um, not a good idea. So this is the way that I learned how to cut my Lush. So what I need, what you will need, or whoever's going to cut it for you, so we don't break a finger, is a old towel. So I just have a dark towel. You'll also need a flat-ended screwdriver. This is ancient, as you can tell. Um, I do not use brand new products to cut stuff with, otherwise it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, so this is a flat-headed screwdriver. And this is a hammer. Ready? Um, I normally have one that's like a rubber ended, but I couldn't find it, so I just decided to pick up like the oldest hammer known to man. <laughs> and then my very eco-friendly Ziploc bags that really aren't eco-friendly, and I'm, I'm lying to you right now. But I have Ziploc bags, sandwich size. And the last thing is a very, very old butter knife that your parents or you will not care that they never get back because once you start using this for cutting soap and bubble bars and things like that, you're not going to want to use this on your food. It's now your designated soap knife that you keep in your room with your Lush. Um, so this is my Lush soap knife. All right. So now we got to figure out, I'm going to move you guys to see if I can make it easier for you to see the table. I have, oh, also, this is not my Lush stash. I'm... Haven't decided yet if I'm showing that video or not. Um, I did post a picture on my Twitter the other day of my box of bath bombs slash bubble bars. Uh, so that's up on my Twitter. Um, but this is everything I need cut right now. So it's a pretty big box. Pretty heavy. Um, but these are all of my things from Lush and from Moon's Harvest. Um, and I'll put the link, you know, both websites in the sidebar. But this is everything I need cut. So I figured I might as well do it for you right now. Okay. So let's re-angle. All right, let me see if you can see me. So here's a bath bomb. This is Geofizz, and what I do is I take a Ziploc bag, and I'll label it with whatever the product is. Um, I think I spelled Geofizz wrong, but it's okay. I'm, I'm not really worried about the spelling. Um, oh, and my ring is from Forever 21. It was like $4, in case anyone's curious. And that was cute. So here's Geofizz. And they do shed a little bit. They're, they definitely lose some of their stuff. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to... Here, let me angle a little more. Okay. So you're going to look on your bath bomb and find where the, where the seam is that goes all the way across it. And if you see on this one, it's already got a little crack to it. When I'm looking at my bath bombs to purchase them, I'll look for ones that have like a crack or it looks like they're going to be easier to break. So then you take your flat-headed screwdriver and gently place it in that crack. And then I'll angle up a little bit. Okay. So here's the bath bomb. And then you take your hammer and you tap on the top. And then it breaks. See, so now you have two halves of Geofizz. And if you want to make it into four, um, all you have to do, turn it over, put this on the top, put it into place, and tap again. Let me move this one so you can see it. Okay. And then it splits again. Sometimes it takes more taps than others, um, but and then you will have crumbs that you'll lose. Uh, I'll either pick up, you know, pick them back up and put them in the little bag and just shake, you know, what's in my bag out onto the table or into my bathtub uh, not onto the table do not shake your bath bombs <laughs> onto your tables but it does make your house smell nice so to do that you can get a spoon and scoop it up and you know drop it into your 
into your bag, so I did forget to spoon. So I'll just use my fingers and pick it up and kind of put it in here. Or you can always do a towel and then put a paper towel on top, and then that way it's real easy to, to clean up. So there's Geofis, so that one's done. Then we'll do, how about Satsumo Santa? Okay, so he's still in his little baggie. So I'm gonna open up the bag and take out my jolly Santa Claus. Oh, I love the way he smells. Okay, I'm gonna go get a paper towel. Satsumo Santa, same thing, look on the seam. Um, him, he's a little harder, cause he's a very odd shape, he's not just a ball. Um, but I'll show you how we do Satsumo. So there we go, we're gonna angle him down. Put it onto the crease. Kind of wiggle it in a little bit so it'll hold it. Let's see if you can see this. Okay. And then hit it with your hammer. There we go. That one didn't break off fully. This, you know, they're not always going to come off perfect. That one only came off in a chunk. He's a little trickier because he's not just a circle. Um, let's try it again. Okay, so I'm going to try from the other side. There we go. Okay. So now it broke off the back half of him. So what I would do is I'd take a Ziploc bag. And in the bag, I'm just going to drop in this half. And then these two parts. And then you can pick up your paper towel. And whatever, you know, spilled out, you can drop it into your bag. So that way you're not... You know, you're not losing anything. So there's this at Sumo, and then I would label him. Um, how about Comforter? Well, let's do another bath bomb. Okay, so this is a bath bomb from MoonsHarvest.com, and this one is probably not the best one to do. Ooh, let's do the butter ball, because I want to know what the inside looks like. So this is my butt naked butter ball from Moon's Harvest. First, I'm going to take the plastic off. And this is probably going to be a uh, two-part video in case you're wondering. Because we're already at about eight minutes. Okay. So now I've unwrapped him. And he smells amazing. Oh, he smells so good. He smells like lemonade. Like lemonade and fruit punch. All right. This one, I'm excited to see what's inside. So I'm going to put it on the crease. Let me do it this way. All right. So you put it on the crease. This one's a little different because it has that ring in the middle, so it's not just, you know, a, a split like a normal bath bomb. But then you're going to hit it with your hammer. And I can see this part's already chunking off a little bit. Ooh, you guys, look how exciting this is. Okay, so there's part of it. And this one I knew was going to be different, and I might have to use all of it at once. Look at it in the inside. This one they call a butter ball. Inside is shea butter, cocoa butter, um, all sorts of butters. Oh, it's so moisturizing. Oh, it's like a little Easter egg inside. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, so I'm going to do it on the other side. This one might be one that you'd have to use all of just because it does have, you know, that big ball of butter on the inside of it. But I'm going to try to break them. Okay. And then we'll do it this way. And when you're doing this, please, when you're watching what you're doing, watch your hammer. Do not watch the bomb to see how it's going to look when it breaks. Watch the top of your screwdriver that you're hitting so you don't hit your hand. Um, but you can see I hold mine pretty far down so I don't hit it. Okay, so this is the inside of the butter ball. And there's a little chunk of like shea butter and cocoa butter um, and things like that. And it goes down the center of it too. And this one smells awesome, you guys. I got it in the scent Butt Naked. This is from Moon's Harvest. And it has like a fruit punch, uh, lemonade, really good like summer smell. You can see in the background over here my uh, happy graduation banner from when I graduated college in December that we haven't taken down yet. Uh, my Christmas tree is still up. It's February 1st. Is anyone else still have a Christmas tree in their living room or is it just, just us? 